Welcome to the video for the solution to practice problem number two for homework number six. Let's start with what we know. Okay, so we know that we are in Dayton, Ohio. Scenic, beautiful Dayton, Ohio. And we're trying to lay down a slinky style horizontal closed ground loop heat exchanger so many words <laughs> okay and we're trying to achieve two tons of cooling at a maximum so the question at hand is what is the length of the trench you gotta call someone and say come dig a trench they say how long and you say let me do the calculations I learned in Dr. Mulford's class so we're gonna do that how long does the trench need to be in order to achieve two tons of cooling with a slinky style horizontal closed ground loop heat exchanger? All right, let's do some analysis. Okay, so first, I'm not going to show you this, but I will tell you about it. We need to find the average air temperature in Dayton, Ohio. So what you need to do is download TMY3 data for the Dayton Airport. And then find the column about dry bulb temperature. You say, what is dry bulb temperature? It's kind of a long story, but what you need to know is it is the temperature of the air. Um, <clears throat> if you go outside and read your thermometer, the dry bulb temperature is what you're reading. Uh, a wet bulb has to do with measuring the um, humidity of the air. Okay, so you're going to find the dry bulb temperature column, and you're going to average that. Oops. You're going to average the column over the entire year worth of data, and you're going to get a value. So let's talk about that. The average air T that you get if you use TMY3 data for the Dayton airport, the dry bulb column, averaging just in Excel, you know, type equals average, and then put in the entire column, whatever that column is, then you get 10.71 degrees Celsius. So that's the average air temperature in Dayton, Ohio, over the course of an entire year, which correlates to the average temperature in the ground. So now we're going to use this chart that we covered in class. And the first problem is it's in Fahrenheit. So we got to convert this to Fahrenheit, which you can do the fancy way by doing math. I honestly just use online calculators. I type convert C to F, type in the number, it does it. It's just easier. So you get 51.278 degrees Fahrenheit for the average air temperature in Dayton, Ohio, which makes sense honestly okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the plot that I gave you in class right which is the length of a trench or borehole per ton of cooling right and then we find these are different average ground temperatures which correlates to the average air temperature so we have 51.278 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to say, uh, let's see, what number did I use? Honestly, if you look, that's like right in between these two points. But if we track that up for slinky style, which is red, then you see that honestly, it's almost the same number. And I'm gonna say that number is 120. So the feet of trench per ton of cooling is equal to 120, which means the feet of trench that we have to dig is 120 times two tons, right? I just moved this up here and multiplied by the number of tons, which gets me 240 feet. 240 feet of trench, that is our answer. Okay, thank you for watching.